So you have your sparkly new hard drive, but is it in the right format for what you need it to be? Is external drive formatting a total mystery to you? Well, let me help you out with the best format for external hard drives. Not all external hard drives arrive formatted ready for you to use in the way that you need it. So you might have to do some disk formatting. But what exactly is the best format to be using for your external hard drive? Let me give you the lowdown. What is disk formatting? Disk formatting is the process of getting your storage device ready for use. It creates a file system on your hard drive that can be read by your computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC. But just remember, in the process of disk formatting, you will erase all of the data on the disk. So it's important that you back up any data that you want to keep before you do the formatting. Why format your hard drive? There are a number of reasons as to why you will need to format your new hard drive. The biggest reason is usually because you want to use it on a Mac. Most external hard drives will come formatted to use on a Windows PC rather than a Mac. But you can also use formatting to quickly erase all the data on a disk or fix a disk that is corrupt. Although if your disk is corrupt, I would not suggest trying to continue to use it and just invest in a brand new Sparkly. How to format your hard drive. There are a number of ways to format your hard drive. In fact, both Windows PCs and Mac have an inbuilt operating system that you can use to format your disk. But you can also use third-party disk formatting tools and if you're into it, you can use command lines as well. What types of format are there? When it comes to types of disk format, this is where your head can start to spin. But let me break it down for you. FAT32 is the most compatible format of external storage devices. It is supported by all major operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. However, there is one major limitation with FAT32. It has a file size limit of four gigabytes. So if you are gonna create large files, this is not for you. XFAT is a more modern format that is compatible with all major operating systems. It does not have a file size limit, so it's a good choice for external storage devices that will be used to store large files. But there are also systems that will work specifically for Windows and Mac systems. NTFS is the file system that is native to Windows. It will only work on Windows PCs, but you can get some software on the Mac that will allow you to read the data on an NTFS formatted drive in a pinch. APFS, the Apple file system, is the default file system for the Mac, but it's only usable on Mac versions of OS 10.13 and later. As the file name implies, it will only work in the Apple environment. You may also find Mac OS Extended, the file system used in Mac OS 10.12 and earlier, but they will also work on later OS versions as well. It's just the old way of doing things which format to use and where. The best system for your external hard drive really does depend on how you'll be using it. But if you're going to be using the external hard drive across different operating systems, like between a PC and a Mac, then XFAT is your best choice. But with the use of cloud services to be able to share across systems, this is probably less likely to be required. So if you are going to be using it on a Windows PC, then go for NFTS, or if you're gonna be using it on a Mac, go for APFS. Unless you're gonna be using it on an older Mac system and go for Mac OS Extended. Some wise words. Whatever format you are using, it is important to remember that hard drives do not last forever. They typically fail in under three years. So to reduce the risk of hard drive failure, make sure you back up your data regularly, try your best to keep your hard drives as cool as possible and avoid dropping or jarring them. And you should have a happy hard drive. So there you have it, the best format for your external hard drives. Do you have any other great tips for disk formatting? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like and a share and 
why not subscribe? Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.